Charging towards an AUKUS submarine announcement, Premier Peter Malinowskis headed to Osborne, visiting a firm that supplies batteries to sub builders around the globe. It is a very powerful demonstration of how well equipped Australian and South Australian industry is to be able to produce complex machine, machines such as nuclear submarines. A call on the AUKUS program is expected early next week amid international reports the deal will see new UK designed boats built in South Australia. This is an investment in our security and we will do what is necessary to keep our country secure. This is the biggest step forward in our military capability that we've had since the end of the Second World War. Suggestions at least three US subs will be bought to fill a capability gap before the new boats are constructed has no opposition from the federal opposition. The Virginia class is an established class so you don't have the problems of a first in type, the new design, cost blowouts etc. But exactly how much will be built in Adelaide is unclear. Twelve French designed submarines were promised in 2016. When the plan was scrapped in 2021, eight nuclear-powered vessels were pledged instead. If that number will be delivered is uncertain for now. If it was up to us, we would see the federal government commit to a continuous build into the future. We need all eight submarines to get this transformational uplift to South Australia, this generational investment, this pipeline of jobs. There will be many more jobs here in Australia and South Australia. While the prospect of US subs being bought has raised concern about a multi-billion dollar upgrade deal for the current Collins class. And that means existing jobs here in the South Australian economy are also at risk. The Premier says he expects the Life of Type Extension program is an ongoing commitment from his colleagues in Canberra. Rory McLaren, ABC News.